Hello and welcome to the channel where you can get the best advice on how to make your dollar go as far as you want it to go. This is the Cheapskate Channel and I'm your host that will help you make that dollar holler. I will show you things that you probably have never considered in how to save and how to creatively acquire the things that you want in life. That's my job. That's what I want to do because I was struggling and I had no one to give me any advice on how to do it myself. So that is it. This time, I'm going to talk to you about things that are near and dear to a lot of people out there. Electronics and how to acquire them inexpensively. Good quality electronics as a matter of fact. I'm going to concentrate on flat screen TVs. I'm going to concentrate on stereo equipment and also uh, a lot of other miscellaneous type of electronics that you have out there. But the major thing is it's pretty much one location where you can find it sometimes at minimal cost, sometimes for free. Uh, the place where you need to search for stuff like this is Backpage.com in the free section and also Craigslist in the free section or even in the section where people have stuff they want to sell because everybody is always trying to unload something to get money to pay bills because everybody of course is in debt which I've been trying to specifically warn you guys against for the longest but some of you folks won't listen or before I came along some of you all probably acquired debt and are still trying to climb your way out of that rat hole I know I used to be in debt myself and that's a long climb out and it's rough but you need to listen to some of my videos out there where I'll show you how to get out of debt and how to do it quickly and efficiently so Stay tuned for some of those things too. If you happen to see in my listing of videos about get out of debt, give it a listen. It'll probably help you out a lot. But the major thing here is how to search for these things so you can get them for free. The major section in Craigslist and also the major section in Backpage.com is the free section. Always look to see if somebody's giving this stuff away for free. Because people are always moving, people are always going places, stuff's always happening and sometimes they have to get rid of their stuff. Everybody has stuff and uh, that's a good place to go to get rid of it. Sometimes also you might want to see if you go, I'm quite sure you've heard of this um, TV program called Auction Wars or Storage Auction Wars. You need to show up and be Johnny on the spot at the storage auction because sometimes the winners of these auctions, you know, they buy that stuff blind. You know, they'll look in there and see stuff. You might be able to offer them a few cheap bucks right then to take stuff off their hands. Where you can get your TV, stereo, and stuff like that right off the bat. Because a lot of these people who buy this stuff, you know, they own shops and they want to resell it. And you'd be a first sale on the thing. You know, that way they don't have to haul it back. They got money. You know, I don't necessarily suggest that you go get uh, a storage auction per se it's a great way and you might get lucky but sometimes you might not and if you're looking for a specific thing it's better to kind of locate that specific thing right off the bat then maybe for fun you might want to try the storage auction there are a lot of guys on uh, YouTube that specialized in the storage auction thing and they're quite entertaining and they're quite good at it I'd even consider trying it myself but for the use of this particular video lesson I'm going to say go to the storage auction and, and, and look over the person's shoulder who's bought it and offer them a little bit of money right there if you find something you want because sometimes they don't want to haul all that stuff away sometimes they do but in case they don't you'll be right there you know you might not be able to test it but if you're spending a few dollars for it it's worth the risk in it but electronics, computers, all this type of thing, it's always best to buy used. Give you a good example there. My daughter bought a flat screen TV off of Craigslist. Nice model. No problems at all. It's been working and working forever. She has young kids. Trust me. It's seen many hours of cartoons 
and kitty shows going across it. And it's still working. Very nice. And she paid practically nothing for it. She's a smart girl. And she knows how to get a good bargain. She also went to Craigslist and she outfitted her whole living room. Nice sofa and love seat and stuff. Bedroom suits. Anything you can find there. But like I said, most consumable home electronics and stuff like that, Craigslist is your best bet for it to acquire it for cheap. Of course, you can go to the thrift store and get lucky sometimes too. But the thrift, uh, thrift stores, somehow they... They are a little pricey on the flat screen stuff, the later model flat screen stuff. Now, if you want one of the bigger projection TVs, you can get those for a pretty decent price at the thrift store. Or if you want one of the bigger tube type TVs, you know, with the big picture tube in it, you can pick those up for a pretty decent price, too, if you want to watch TV. Yeah, like I said, if you want to be frugal, the, you want to go acquire your televisions and electronics at alternative places. You don't want to go to the to the regular retailers and buy the stuff because even though the price of new electronics is going down, it's still high and you don't need to spend that kind of money. Buy cheap. You know my mantra. Always buy cheap and don't spend any more than you have to. Spend much less if you can. Anyway, hopefully this helpful hint in how to acquire a flat screen TV and stereos and electronics has been of some help to you and if you feel as though it's been useful to you and your thoughts about doing it because I know the holiday season's coming around and everybody likes to acquire electronics so they can sit at home uh, eat cake candy and eggnog and sit up and put their feet up and watch TV and watch their behinds get bigger and bigger and bigger well, if you thought it's used to you and hopefully that it will acquire this aim for the holiday season, uh, like and share this video. And of course, please always highlight the top of your YouTube page where it says HTTP, Cobol, and double slash, and the other stuff there. Right click, copy, and paste it to your Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter page and say, hey, this guy showed me how to get a flat screen TV for cheap and where to get it. I'm going to go get mine tomorrow. You can too. Copy and paste this there and you will have what you need to get the job done. Thanks a lot for giving me a listen and check back soon with some more creative ideas for acquiring the things that you want. See you next time.